When Colin lost his job, he was forced to choose between a life as a traveling musician and a job playing bar tunes at the White Hart Hotel in Thorn, now a pub and nightclub. For the sake of his family, he chose to stay in Thorn. He continued to play classical music, but only until the regulars arrived. Leslie's mother, Margaret, remembers Colin struggling to come to terms with his new life. So I'm just trying to imagine what it must have been like for him, because, you know, he had this, this kind of glimpse of what a, a perfect career was. Well, people didn't have careers, did they, in those days? No, but I know it must have been very special, because he talked to me a lot about it, about the joy of it, and... When he was in the orchestra, when he was in the orchestra, and the yeah. fun they had all together, and the selection of the music and all that. When he lost his job, as did hundreds of other people, it must have, it must have been desperate for work. And uh, he'd got two daughters, and I was on the way. Mm. And uh, when he found this job, he hung on to it like grim death. And he didn't, obviously, he didn't enjoy it. My mum's told me that. Mm. Um, then he started to do some classical music. He'd come early and mm. do some classical music, and gradually more and more people would come. So he was introducing people who were not yeah. confident about classical music, which is what his <laughs> granddaughters ended yes, up doing. Exactly. <laughs> but there was not much joy mm. in his life. Do you think this experience mm. then made him bitter? It possibly. Possibly mm. it did, because he'd had his dream in the palm of his hand and then it was torn away. And that was that. You know, it just, it just kept going on, one foot in front of the other, which hey, everybody did. Not yeah. just our family, everybody did that. But he'd worked so hard to achieve what he'd got, and then it, it threw no fault of his own. It just wasn't. But that's just so sad when, you know, I had dreams. I know, and you, you... <laughs> And I know I was able to fulfil mine. Yes. You know, Although it's a sad tale, really. Uh, at least it gave him this love, this absolute utter love. And throughout all our family, I can't imagine a life without any music. I think we saw Yorkshire Grit at its finest. Determination and vision and love. I think Yorkshire Grit has been able to tolerate unbelievable pain um, and come back for more. You know, to suffer terrible injury and then know you've got to go back and do it all again because there's no choice and you've got to live. It shows unbelievable courage. This is the place I wanted to say goodbye to my Yorkshire ancestors from before I go back to London. It's the place I used to walk when I was a girl with friends from school. It's got the train line and the pit head and the slag heap and everything I suppose that was in my, in my family's background. It's a really special place. I'd always thought I'd got a very working class background, but I found a lot of qualities that I've puzzled about in myself, in my various ancestors, which has so helped me make sense of myself. Um, great, great granddad Charlie, for instance, obviously was ambitious. Uh, great grandma Temperance Mary, feminist, great girl. Uh, Frank Appleton, great granddad Frank Appleton, interested in politics. Colin, granddad Wall, he's the great music lover, the great family lover, you know? So all of these things, I really identify with. The family tradition here was always that you you stayed here. And it's it's born out of, I think, the fear of the fragmentation of the family. Because in that fragmentation there would be poverty. I think it goes right back to, to that now. I've understood that. My generation, for the first time, had opportunity to go, to fly.